Hello everybody and welcome to my e-listen. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create a VLOOKUP formula with a drop down list and have a beautifully created small dashboard for you like this one. See uh, here's the drop down. I choose the car name say Austin Martin and the sales figures for January to May appear over here. These are pulled up using VLOOKUP and here's a small sparkline chart here's a small sparkline column chart and here's a pie chart all right here we have the highest value here we have the lowest value here we have the average all pulled up using vlookup and a drop down list so let me tell you how did i create this so let me go to the base data this is the base data that i have the name of the cars the name of the countries where they were sold the name of the cities the sales figures for January, February, March, April, and May, and here's the total figure. And here's the name of my website, mylisten.org. From here, from where you can download the file for free. All right. So, so much for the advertisement. Let's come to business and let's start creating this formula. So, let's start with creating our drop-down list first. All right. So, I've already created this drop-down list. Let me tell you how I created it. So let me try to create one over here, all right? Now to create a drop-down list, you need to go to data. You need to go to data validation. Click on data validation and from this drop-down, select list. It will ask you for where's the source of your data. Go to sheet one, select this list and here's your drop-down, all right? This is how I created the drop-down over here also so the drop down part is clear I have created a video called uh, data validation with list it has more instructions on how to create a list and uh, the link for the video is available in the description of this video and now let's come to the VLOOKUP part alright so how did we create this VLOOKUP so let's do that let's create that so let me first delete this VLOOKUP all right see as soon as I deleted the VLOOKUP everything went kaboom so to create the VLOOKUP you start with is typing is equal to VLOOKUP all right lookup value would be the name of the car I'm going to press F4 to fix this comma table array table array would always be your data range so this is my data range all right let's see January starts from column number four and May ends at column number eight so I again press F4 comma now it says column index number so January was column number four that is what column index number is the name the number of the column wherein your data lies column number four comma zero I have created a few videos on VLOOKUP uh, you can see the links in the description below this will they will teach you in depth on how to use VLOOKUP all right so now for uh, for the sake of simplicity I will mention the column numbers over here also January was column 4 Feb is column 5 March column 6 and so on with May ending at column number 8 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula across from February till May however we are getting the same result because the column number is 4 which was January so I make the column number now 5 for February and for March I make the column number 6 for April the column number would be 7 and for May the column number would be 8 see now this is the total all right how, how did we create these two beautiful looking line and column charts? Let me tell you how. Let them be there. I'll create another one over here. Or let's first delete them. That's also class. By the way, there is a specific video I have made on create sparkline charts. Please watch that for a thorough understanding on making sparkline charts. So as of now, I'm deleting them. I'm going to home and I'm going on clear all and deleting them. Now, I'm selecting the cell where I want to have a sparkline chart okay and go to insert and click on this line chart 
and it says where is your data range I tell it this is my data range I press OK and my sparkline chart is created similar way I'll create the column chart the column sparkline chart I'll select the data range from here and my column chart is created now I'll create the highest value the lowest value and the average sales I have used the max formula to create the highest where to find the highest value is equal to max okay just for there's a, a specific video I made on max min and average formula which I've used over here you can find the links in the description to understand more thoroughly how to use the max formula or the min formula or the average formula so max formula finds out the largest value in any given data set so I type in max open the bracket select the range close the bracket here's the largest value I use min min I open the bracket I select this range I close the bracket I get the lowest value and I place the average formula average bracket open and here's the average and here is a simple chart that I created which we can create by going to insert selecting a chart type say a donut chart all right and we right click it click on select data and here is our data press enter and the chart gets created and in the quick layout select the percentages or the numbers or the names and percentages which is whichever you like and your we look up with drop down list is ready along with a small dashboard I hope you liked this video if you did well you can very well go to my website www.myelesson.org to download it for free and until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning